Hey everybody, um, here's a quick homework help video for section 26.1, 26.1, so day one. This is on in your um, practice book, pages 261 to 262. So let's, let's start with this first problem. Again, this is all about finding volume, and I know... Um, in the lesson video that goes along with this, we started, we, we kind of reviewed volume of prisms, and then we started talking about volume of those shapes with the circles in it, like cylinders, cones, and excuse me, sp spheres. And this homework is mainly going to deal with different types of prisms. Okay, so it's still a good, good refresher, and it's basically using the same general formula. Okay, so let's take a look um, at the example at the top. It says a glass display in the shape of a right triangular prism is shown to the right. All right. What is the volume of the display case? So if you recall, we've said that volume in general is big B times H. So that's the area of the base times the height. It's not the base. It's the area of the base of the prism. And the base of a prism is whatever shape has the exact same shape opposite of it. Like when you uh, put that base on the bottom, right above it should be the exact same shape. So in this case, the triangle is the base because right above it would be in the exact same triangle. Whereas if you looked at those rectangles, there's like if you look at this base bottom rectangle, there's, just, there's nothing right above it. So to find the volume of the prism, we're going to use that formula. Um, area of the base, which is the triangle, is one half base times height. So if you look at this triangle, one half times 12 times 8. You get 48. Then we need to multiply it by the height of the whole thing. That would be the height between the um, two bases, which is 15. 48 times 15, they got 720. And now remember, that's going to be inches cubed or cubic inches, depending on how you write it. But if you write it in words, it's cubic inches. So why it says, why isn't the base of this prism 12 by 15 inches rectangular face for number one? And I'm going to type that answer. It's, it's essentially what we just um, said. I was just saying that um, the base needs to have a, an identical shape above it, essentially. This, oops, whoa. Um, this is a, has a triangle base. And part of you, part of the way you can tell that it's a triangle, the base is a, the triangle, is it's called a triangular prism. So whatever it's named after is also going to be the name of the shape, or the, the base of the shape. I apologize if you can hear my son. He's screwing around behind me. Anyway, number two, if the bases of the case in this example were rectangles, what formula would you use to find big B? Well, if they're rectangles, um, for rectangles, we use um, just base times height or length times width. So little b, base times height, or length times width. Works the same way. All right, number three, suppose the area of the base of, a, of another triangular prism is 15 square inches and the height is 48 inches. What is, this, what is the same about the prism and the prism in the example? What is different? So, well, we can already tell what's different. We found that the base was 48 and the height was 15. This one's saying the area of the base is 15 and the height is 48. So that's what's different. So what's different is... Um, B, a big B, area of the base, and height are switched. But whether you multiply 15 times 48 or 48 times 15, you should get the same answer. So the volume should be the same in the end. Okay? All right, let's go to page two. Number four, what is the volume of the right rectangular prism at the right? Well, let's find the area of the base. So that's 1.5 times 6, because with the rectangular prism, any of the sides can be the base, because you can see the exact opposite side above it. So uh, area of the base times the height. So we're going to say length times width, or base times height for the base is 6 times 1.5. And then we're going to multiply that by the height, which is 2. 
You're going to want to have your handy dandy calculator available. 6 times 1.5, I believe, is 9. And then that times 2 would get you 18. So I that's exactly what I got. So I got 18. So my answer is 18 centimeters cubed for volume. All right, let's go to number five. A bakery box has the shape shown at the right. Name the two types of prisms that are combined to make the shape. Find the volume. So this is called a composite 3D figure because there's more than one shape that makes it up. If you cut it across here, um, there's a rectangular prism on the bottom. And on the top is a triangular prism. So basically, if you can find the volume of both and add them together, you'll find the volume of the whole thing. So of the rectangular prism, that's a little bit easier because it's just length times width times height because the base is just a rectangle. Okay. Wow, that just got crazy. Why is this messing up? That's supposed to say rectangular prism. So length times width for the base of it is 11 times 8. And then times the height of the whole thing, which is 8. We get the volume of that rectangular prism is 11 times 8 times 8 is 704 inches cubed. And then the triangular prism on the top Remember, if it's a triangular prism, the triangle is the base. So we'd have to do big B times H. So the area of the base, so that, that's the triangle, would have to be, so let's find the base and the height of that. The base of this is 11. So 1 half times 11 times the height of this, which would be going straight up from the base. So we don't have that given, but we can find that. If we knew that this part right here was 8, and this whole side here is 12, that means that this is 4. So the height of that triangular base is 4. So multiply 1 half base times height for that triangle, and then, so that whole thing, times the height of the triangle, which would go, or the triangular prism, which would go from triangle base to triangle base back here. So the height here is 8. All right? So let's take that. Let's, we can actually multiply. It doesn't matter the order, really, because multiplication is commutative. You can change the order. So 1 half times 11 times 4 times 8, I get 176. So if you add 704 plus 176, you get 880. And that is inches cubed. All right. Last two. I would say number six is the most challenging one on the whole thing just because of one of the shapes. It says, which of the two popcorn containers has the greatest volume and how much greater? All right. Sorry about that. Um, we'll go back here. So, so the volume, and we're going to say volume of shape A, is just a rectangular prism. So the area of the base is 4 by 6 times the height, which is 8. So that's very simple. You'll get, um, I've got it written down here, that's 192. The volume of shape B, this is different because the base is actually... You notice this is not a rectangle. It's a little bit different. It's a trapezoid, so the back side is also a trapezoid. So we have to take the area of a trapezoid times this whole height. So the area of a trapezoid, if you recall, is 1 half times you adding the two bases. So that's the 5 and the 3 times the height, which is 9. Now that can be, the 9 can be in front of that. And then we want to multiply by the height of the whole trapezoid, which is the 6. All right? 
you get 8 times 9 times 1 half times 6, and you get a total of 216. So which shape is greater, shape B has more volume? How much, by how much? Well, 216 minus 192 is 24, so it's 24 cubic inches more. All right, last one. Number seven. The volume of the triangular prism at the right is 324. So we have the volume. What is the height? Okay, so think about a triangular prism. So it's going to have to be the triangle that's the base. So we're going to have to take, remember, it's area of the base times the height. So in this case, I would say the area of the base is... Well, we know the volume. That's interesting. So we know the volume is 324. I'm going to plug that in for V. Area of the base would be 1 half. Base of it is 9. Height of it is 12. And the height of the whole thing, that's what goes right here between the two bases. And that's what we're trying to find. So we're going to say that's X. We could say H something that we're trying to find. So now we just need to solve it for x. Okay. So what I would do is, since this is all multiplied by the height or the x, I would take 1 half times 9 times 12 and see what I get. Because that should just be one number. 1 half times 9 times 12 is actually 54. So we have 54x or h, whatever you want to use. So 324 equals 54x, and then I can divide by 54 on both sides, because that'll get me the x all by itself. And the 324 divided by 54 is just 6. So my answer is actually the height is 6 centimeters. And I, it does say to explain, so I'd like to see you explain that, what we did. And again, I would say something along the lines of we knew the volume, and we knew the formula for the volume, but we just had to solve for one part of it, and then that's what we did. We plugged in what we had, and we solved for what was missing. And that's Lesson 26.1. That's um, our first day on volume here. So I hope that answered any questions you have. Make sure you're showing your work. Make sure you're adding labels to there as well. See you next time.